All right, Democrats and Republicans rarely agree in Washington, but now they agree on one point. If you truly love democracy, you will shut up and you will pay more for gas. Watch. The increases that are coming now are Putin's doing. Um, and, and any politician on, of any party who tries to make domestic political hay of the sacrifices that Americans are about to feel is undermining support for Ukraine. Now, here in America, we got to be ready for the fact that will drive up oil prices, that will drive up gas prices. Um, and if we are really standing with Ukraine, we have to be prepared to absorb that. It's a small price, you know. It's a small price to pay for supporting a country that wants to move our way, that has the same dreams and aspirations that we have as a nation have. Standing up for freedom has a cost. Standing up for democracy does have a cost. But we've designed the sanctions specifically to impose damage on the Russian economy without much blowback damage on ours. Robbie Starbuck is a Republican congressional candidate in Tennessee, and, and he joins us now. Robbie, how do you think people are reacting to this assertion that it's their patriotic duty to pay more for gas? You know, Will, I think people are tired of being gaslit. This is almost as ludicrous as the State of the Union, where Joe Biden went out there and said that Democrats believe in funding the police. I think that when you treat the American people like this, betrayal after betrayal, eventually there's going to be a reckoning. You know, to the elite, gas prices raising $2 doesn't have the same effect that it has on normal people. I was just down in Lewis County, part of my district, where there's, you know, maybe, you know, tens of thousands of people down there, and they're all feeling these effects to a different degree than the elite. For them, it's choosing between medicine or gas. When that's your choice, it gets real very fast. And to pretend to these people that this is about freedom is a slap in the face, especially coming from the same people in the uniparty establishment who went out there and they forced masks on little kids for two years. They fired some of our bravest soldiers because they wouldn't allow the government to inject something in their body that they weren't comfortable with. They fired nurses, and you can go on and on down the list. To pretend it's about freedom is just, it's beyond comprehension. Yeah. And you know, I think the American people are going to send a message in 2022 that this is not acceptable and it's really rhino weakness that's allowed this and it's why we need people who are going to DC to fight. Well that American the voice of the American people that you point out is is what I find so fascinating. It's hard to stomach you know David Frum or former senators telling me exactly what the American people should be willing to sacrifice. I would for one when we are talking about war, like to hear from the American people and I guess our first chance for that will be in the midterms in 2022. Absolutely. And, you know, right now what they're asking you to sacrifice is your wallet. But what's next? Next is going to be them asking us to sacrifice our children, our boys and girls, to send them off to some war that the elite all profit from. Right. And that's a truth a lot of people try to avoid. But that's where this goes. And it's why it's so important for the American people to stand up now and elect the right people in primaries who are going to fight no longer right. do any of this stuff that the rhino establishment has done. And look, it may be that the American people make that choice, but it's a little hard to stomach these people speaking so authoritatively in the place of the American people. Robbie Starbuck, always great to talk to you. Thanks for being on tonight. Thank you, Will.